But subhanAllah, what had happened, my grandfather, Allah Arhamu, passed away. And his inheritance, some of it came to my mother. This was my, yani, my grandfather from my mother's side. And I remember the Hajj back then was 5,000 Australian. I remember that was back in <laughs> 2000. From her inheritance money. And she paid for my, for my Hajj. No, no. And I ended up going Hajj. No, no. Subhanallah. And I ended up meeting uh, Sheikh Shuraim with Sheikh Sudais. And Alhamdulillah, it was, a, it, was a, it was an experience for me that I'll never forget. And it was the start of going down that path. Yani. Allah just opened more doors for you. Wahu Akbar. Allah opens Allah doors Allah upon doors. Allah. Allah. So you, you, but what's interesting is that a lot of people sit down and think, oh Allah, bring it to me. Oh Allah, guide me. Oh Allah, make me do this and do that. But with you, the story is a little bit different. Yes, you sought Allah's help, but you did an effort. You planned, you made a goal for yourself, you prepared, you organized yourself and you committed. Yeah. Then the help of Allah came. Allah. So is that how it works? Of course. Always the effort is required. Allah says, there's an ayah that explains this really well. Tell us what it is. Allah Azzawajalli says, وَلَا تَتَمَنَّوا مَا فَضَّلَ اللَّهُ بِهِ بَعْضَكُمْ عَلَى بعض. Don't wish for what Allah Azzawajalli gives others more than what He gives you. 